no matter how slender I am, I've always had problems with my hips and thighs. I work out, I'm avid exerciser. And I can lose weight, try to exercise, do the best that I can do, and it, it just never would go away. But there was always this spot that I could not get rid of. No matter how much I worked out and how great my body looked, that area would not go away. When I came in, I was obviously not knowing what to expect. After meeting Dr. Carter and his staff, I decided that this was the direction I wanted to go. From day one, I felt completely comfortable. I mean, it was, everything was, it was very comfortable. It was almost like a spa experience more than anything else. The very first time I met Dr. Carter, very friendly. And everyone was friendly, and from then, I could treat them like family. Very informative. I knew exactly what to expect. I knew exactly what was going to happen. Walked me through the entire procedure. When I had questions, he would answer them honestly answered every single question that I had. Dr. Carter is one of those guys that is just, he's like an artist. One of the reasons I enjoy body sculpting so much is the ability to combine my love of medicine and art. My passion is helping the person find the perfect shape for their own body. It is so gratifying to see how a small physical procedure can have such a large impact on a person's life. I get so excited by helping them feel great about themselves. Everyone is unique and may have a subtle flaw that distracts them from feeling great about themselves or feeling the best about themselves. When did you start to see a difference physically? I mean, I went home and cried. I looked in the mirror and cried because I was so happy. I can go and I can buy a bathing suit off the rack and be completely happy. It's because <laughs> every bathing suit I tried on in that store, I loved for the first time I could, I could look in the mirror and actually appreciate my body. Wow, look at me, I look awesome. I don't know why it took me so long, I guess it just a little bit of research to find Dr. Carter.